Hi, this is Joyce from This to That Creations, where I inspire you to be original in all you do and to just be you. Today I'm jumping in on this open invite hosted by B Thrifty 2 and Kiki's DIYs called Make It New. Hey, don't forget to hit me on my socials, like and follow my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that bell for notifications. Let's get started. All right, this is the piece we're gonna go ahead and do for the Make It New Challenge. It's a piece I gave my mother that she wanted. I already had sanded it off. It had a dark stain on it. I sanded it off, gave it to her. She decided she didn't want to do anything with it. So I painted a little bit white on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redo it. We're gonna go ahead and do it with our Dixie Belle fluff, one coat, because we will be Mod Podging on here and we will be antique waxing. So you'll have to follow along to see that. So we got a paintbrush, just a basic paintbrush from our local hardware store. So let's get started. done with our base coat of our Dixie Bell fluff. I just did one coat on here. If you wanted to do full coverage, you probably want two coats on there. But since we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Mod Podge on with our matte finish, I just did one base coat. Now I tore out pieces from an old music book I had and I just did all different shapes and sizes. This is what we're gonna use to Mod Podge on. So let's go ahead and get started. And you want to put a good amount on and you want to make sure to really get around your edges. Okay, we have our base coat down. It kind of looks like a mess, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to, these pieces that are up, we're going to put Mod Podge down and push them down. Okay, our Mod Podge is dry now. We're going to move on to the next step. We have watered down our antique Waverly wax. Now let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, we went ahead and we added our Waverly antique wax. Now we need to take care of the edges and sand them off and do some distressing. So let's get started. I'm using a fingernail file from the Dollar Tree. It works amazing. You just wanna go up and you wanna push down not up and down on your edges or you'll rip your paper and it will come right off as you see. Okay, we finished going all the way around our edges with our nail file sanding off the paper. Now we're gonna grab our hand sander with 120 grit and we're gonna distress around the edges. So let's get started. Okay, we finished sanding our edges and distressing our piece. Now we're, our finishing touches are going to be Mod Podging the top of our notebook paper. Hi guys, here we are with the finished project. I absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. I love the distress look. I love how we use the music notes and antiqued it. I love this challenge, make it new, because that's what I love to do. I love to take something old and turn it into something new. And like I say, just be you. You guys have a good day.